Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 63. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Burn marks. The report mentioned phaser fire being redirected toward these strange crystals. It also mentioned Portal calling down lightning bolts. Better keep our guards up. If I recall right, Geordi LaForge transported in here, hanging upside down. I guess we're lucky we were spared the indignity. Anything unusual, Commander? It's all unusual, to be honest. We've precious little data on this planet, so brief was Captain Riker's visit. Anything he didn't see himself is a total unknown. We deal with unknowns all the time. Part of the job. I'm accustomed to dealing with the unknown from my station on the bridge. Already gave it a scan. Dead. Whole planet feels like it's been turned to stone. Doctor? Commander? Keeping an eye on those duridium levels? Good. Last thing we need are your cells destabilizing on a hostile alien planet. This is where Portal 6-3 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. That has to mean something. We'll move forward when you're ready, Commander. Follow me. Ends here. Is it me, or did that path just disappear? There was a path there a moment ago. There must be an explanation. Tetrametric pulses. Same energy as the other Takan technology. Well, most of the crystals appear dormant. What's different about this one? Readings indicate there's a cavity in the rock right behind it. We could try melting a hole through the wall with our phasers. 
Worth a try. Whoa! An illusion. I'm sure that wall was as real as the rest of them. I felt it. It's almost like our holodeck technology, but far more advanced. The crystals must be absorbing the energy from our phasers. I'm picking up something. A biosignature. It's faint, but it's there. With me. Another dead end. Or another illusion. Crewman LaRue, if you would. <laughs> Devolve to Resolute. Beam Crewman LaRue directly to medical. Is he okay? Yeah. He'll live. Not all crystals work the same, it seems. Don't fire your phasers at any crystals unless we're sure they're putting out the same pulses as before. Commander, I may be able to speed up the process. I can now detect many different wavelengths of radiation simply by looking. The Takan radiation is unusual, so I can't quite clear it all up, but I was able to eliminate many of the non-tetrametric crystals. Your tricorder should warn you. That's an enormous help. Thank you, Lieutenant. It's my honor. Tetrametric. Good sign. Look at that. Trust, but verify. Indeed. We don't have any data about what's below the surface on Delphi Ardu 4. And I don't feel a particularly strong urge to find out. Then that makes two of us. Good. Tetrametric. Better go see what's different.
way is clear. Good work, Commander. We'll make sure it's safe. Incredible. The plants here are actually alive. Is this the biosignature you detected, Doctor? No. Not a match. Tetrametric. Then it's creating an illusion as well. Based on the data we have so far... Only one thing left to do. Doctor, be ready to beam us out if it turns out we're wrong. Duval to Resolute. Lock transporter on away team. Nothing like this in any Federation record. The plants. Barbarians. It's him. How dare you disturb me? I'd hoped you had enough sense to leave of your own accord, but here you stand. <laughs> Fools. In another time, I would have destroyed you and your ship simply for setting foot in this place. Fortunately for you, that time has passed. Portal 6-3, Guardian of the Takan Empire. We've come a long way to meet you. Guardian? I am guardian of nothing. The Takan no longer exist. Don't care to be reminded. If this is why you've come, then you should leave. Now. I'll cut right to it. The Takan have returned. Returned? My people have come back? How can that be? I've been alone for so long. If it is true, how did they return? Taconian technology made it possible. To enable the transfer of consciousness from one being to another after physical death. We call it bioforming. A group of Taconians calling themselves Scions of the Flame used it to reawaken after hundreds of millennia. Scions of the Flame? Is something wrong? I'd hardly call them Takan. They were a radical faction with beliefs outside the mainstream. Beliefs that lesser life forms should serve as vessels to ensure Tacon immortality. You want me to help you destroy them. That's why you've come. You want to destroy these Scions. You don't have to do anything except help us find them. If that's all you want to do. <laughs> I don't believe that. They have an incredibly powerful energy source they call the Cartabula. These Scions have the Cartabula. And they've used it as a weapon against us. I will speak with you alone. What are you Where's my team? They're safe where we left them. That the Scions have stolen the Cartabula is deeply concerning. And to be honest, I'd rather speak with you alone, John of Rydeck. Your 
colleagues don't know what it means to be the last of one's kind. You and I are remnants of fallen civilizations. The Kobliad, the Takan. One dying, one dead. Our species could not be more different, but we both know the meaning of loss. The others wouldn't understand. It's beyond their ability to comprehend. But I'm not alone in the Federation. I'm a part of something larger, just like your Takan Empire was. We are not the same. Tell me, why spend your days away from your own people when so few of them are left? Why live your life working for this federation to which the Koblia do not even belong? And submit yourself to their authority? It makes no sense. Not by my logic. The federation isn't an authority to be obeyed. At its heart, it's a set of principles meant to ensure the survival and safety of all species, regardless of their origin. You told Riker you'd wait until you were needed. You're needed now. We need you. As much as it pains me to learn the Cartabula has fallen into the hands of the Scions, my services are not up for offer. To be chosen as a portal was to give one's entire self to the cause of protecting the Dukon Empire. I left behind everything I know, and now you want me to turn against my own people. The betrayal of my oath, and everything I vowed to protect. These aren't the Dukon you knew. They're a facsimile. They're imposters, and they tarnish the Takan name. We faced these questions in my time as well. What you call bioforming, we thought of as a marginal science. But if these reborn Takan plan to restore the Empire, is that a disaster to be avoided? Taconian technology is so advanced, it could save millions of species currently on the brink of extinction, including your own. And at the price of a small few, think of how the many could benefit. Instead, it sounds as if you are reacting out of fear before you have a full understanding of what's at stake. I don't think you've given this full consideration. You may have more to gain than to lose. The Takan Empire is gone. It had its opportunity and proved unable to survive. There must have been a reason the Takan have faded to a distant memory. It ran its course. And those of us who are here now deserve to choose our own fate. You said the Takan vanished for a reason. I cannot claim our Empire was without sin. I'm curious to see these scions masquerading as true to con. So I will go with you, and we shall find them. But when we do, I will judge them myself as a guardian of the Takan. To understand their true intentions, for better or worse. It's certainly your right to make your own decisions. I won't tell you otherwise. Very well. I'll return to the Commander! Hold your fire. I'm all right. He's coming with us. We assumed the worst. She's perfectly fine. Now then, shall we? All right. 
we can beam up your... Do you have any equipment or tools? This is all I need. Away team plus one, ready to beam up. Four warp cores? That's... interesting. Redundancy. If one goes down in battle, we can still operate. Makes this more difficult, though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. Where are the engine schematics? Uh, power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. I thought you would know what to do. We understand how to operate it under normal conditions, but not the intricacies. You're in good hands. We can do this. I trust that you can. You at least know where we should start? This way. What are we dealing with? are running really hot. Makes sense, since they've been producing at max output since we left Hotari space. No ship can run for very long like that. Not before a catastrophic failure hits. It's right on the edge. We just need to figure out a way to give it a push. Bet that console down there could tell us a few things. Whatever we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? War core, core ejection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? The safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection. Reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. They've locked out the controls here too. No surprise there. I can't release it. So if we want to get the core out, we'll have to force the system to do it. Or trick it. Like we saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. Looks like, if sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. 
Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. I'll take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Stuck in one place while you work. We will have to make a stand. Start thinking about an escape plan. I have a feeling we're gonna need one. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. We might not have our tools, but our phasers can do this in a pinch. We better get this right. If we foul it up and this whole thing goes boom... We don't know how much damage that cartabula will do if we accidentally crack it open. I look on the bright side. It all goes to hell, we won't be around to see the fallout. That certainly inspires confidence. It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere. Things up. Warning. Warning. Warp core output at critical level. Ejecting core. Okay. Now they're definitely gonna know we're down here. Warp core output at critical level. Ejecting core. Just one more to go. They're here. They're cutting through the door. We don't have much time. Okay, same as before. We just got it. I think so. Itasca, can you climb? I'll see you on the parade grounds of Sorella, my friend.
I'm right here. You too. Calm yourself, child. <laughs> it will all be better soon. Join the flame. To reclaim what was lost. We don't need to watch this. I do. I want to remember every moment when I make them pay. But this isn't the end. I will avenge Itasca. Swear to me, you will join me in this. How about we try to save her? That's a dream. As long as she's alive and her memories are still in there, there's still hope. Hope is what you turn to when you have nothing left you can do. And there's still something I can do for Itasca. And I shall. <laughs> 